And they look scary. A swarm of skeletons, a throng of zombies, and a horde of ghosts. But I'm going for it. I don't think I need any more troops to deal with that. Let's uh, have you go back. I don't want to summon troops, so that's why I'm doing this. going for expert war machines. Week of Dragon. Let's save. And let's go. Let's put my ghosts, my blood sisters. Um, dragons over there. I don't like this. See, these guys do more damage the farther they go, or yeah, they have charge. Okay, we need the uh, Minotaurs up here as well. Ooh, 97. Wow. Crazy big troops. Okay, what do we have? We can attack these guys. Okay. It's gonna have to be the zombies then. Poor zombies. Guess I'll attack something that I know is not going to be missing. Something that's closest to my archers. Or crossbow many, actually. Let's see, do I want to wait? I want to wait. And I think I... let's see how much damage this does. Not that much, it could miss too. So we're gonna slow this troop. And uh, just do as much damage as we can. An, an option here would be... Oh, this just does more damage too now, I guess, because I leveled up. Um, five eighty-five. This will slow it for a bit. Let's take a look. We killed twenty-six with this, and thirty-six. I'm gonna go with the thirty-six. They're already slowed. That's a big enough difference. Let's see if we can use our ghosts to get the first attack on these. That would help. Yeah, I just hate how you go up, you have a massive troop like this and you miss and then they retaliate. And they do good damage too. Now the dragons could probably do it. Without having a dragon die. If I miss... 61 of these is going to attack. Ah, uh, I'm not sure I want to do that. Might want to wait again so I can uh, actually kill a lot with my spell. Yeah. Let's wait. Um, 
destroy some skeletons. They look well armored, so it's a good thing I have a crossbow. Now, the zombies are coming. I could kill a lot of these, I could miss. I am going to. They are also going to be able to attack over here. But before that, I should be able to pretty much destroy that stack with my other troops. So I'm going to go for the. The zombies can also attack. But they're very slow. Let's see when are they gonna attack. They're gonna attack down there again. Let's attack the zombies. I'm just gonna stand my ground. So many. They're pretty tough. Okay, now when do I get to attack with this troop? That's not good. I think I'll attack here because I need something to be to stand between the zombies, my zombies and my blood sisters. Let's do it. It's gonna lose a few of these, unfortunately. These are kind of like a tanker, so I would like to upgrade them because they get 20 more hit points. 60 hit points instead of 40, I believe. They're fast and they're a little bit tanky. I think maybe what I want to do is attack the zombies from here. There's no way he can move and make me attack. My own troop is there. Mm, let's see if I wait. Maybe I can attack after here. Let's try waiting. And... I'm gonna attack the zombies, because they're not gonna retaliate. Very nice. Let's try and kill a few more ghosts. Nice. And... Another 37 down. Now, my, my dragons do get to attack before the ghosts, so that's very good. I can also... I can also attack with these guys, so that there will be no retaliation. Let's do it. Haha, <laughs> they missed. Oh no! Oh no! I did not think of that. I didn't think they could move up. I'm not sure why. Why didn't I think of that? Oh gosh, I lost a lot of those. I want regeneration. That would also w work fairly well on these. If you have a high magic skill, magic power, then um, you could probably heal like two of these a turn. That would be very good. Okay, I think we need to kill skeletons now. So I think I will upgrade that building next. I would lose a lot less of them. Um, no. This is a little scary here because I don't want to attack my own creatures. Well, actually here is pretty good. If anything, I'll just attack my, my ghost, so that's fine. He missed and he's going for my blood sisters, of course. Nice, we got him. Let's take out the zombies as much as we can.
The zombies are coming up. Let's attack them then. I'm not sure how this works. I'm not attacking my own troop here. One of the skeletons attacking. They are not. They are attacking down there, okay. I think we'll go ahead and use the dragons then. That's one of the scary parts with these type of creatures. When you attack your own creatures or when the enemy make you attack your own creatures it can do massive damage. And that's why I need to just use a spell to destroy this. Oh, I didn't need to, I could have used my, my troops also. So yeah, quite heavy losses on this battle, but there, there was a lot of enemies. And uh, should be good experience. So I'm, I'm thinking I do have enough to get basic defense as well. But maybe I want to get expert offense first. Just max that out. So got one of those quest items. And uh this trip I'm not sure about. I don't really want to deal with ninety-nine of those. I haven't actually looked at this. What's what's my mana at? I'm pretty low. Now I did just see this a while ago. Ooh. Moderate, okay, I'm not taking that right now, but I do want Oh what is this? Staff of the Saint? What? A quantity of native tier 5 creatures will be resurrected after combat. The amount of resurrected creatures is equal to 30% plus 1% for knowledge of the hero. Wow, this is an, a very interesting artifact. Oh, I see it costs mana also. Aha, uh -huh. you have to have mana for it to happen. It also helps your Resurrection spell. Interesting. So it's a set of five. Darn. Hmm. This is making uh, maybe me having to change my little strategy. Because this becomes seemingly very important right now. But look at all those troops. Up to 500. Fairies and uh, let's see. Yeah, that that is crazy. That is just. If I just attack this right now, I, it could be it could go quite badly for me. And then we have the orc tunnels, which I have no idea what to do with. What do you do with orc tunnels? It's an orc hideout. It's probably better not to disturb this place. It's challenging, so yeah. Okay, that's that's crazy. That's a very tough place. This one was uh, moderate. That's moderate, so challenging is... One step above that, I guess. Um, I think um, what I'm gonna do is head back and maybe upgrade. I kind of want to explore though out here, so I'm gonna send this troop out. The 
Let's send her out to explore a bit. And I will stand here for now and, and get mana this turn. Oh, right. I would have to do that the next turn. Okay, let's do this. And I want to upgrade. I think what I want to do is to upgrade the Grim Enclosure. Even though it's quite expensive, but I think that's a pretty good upgrade at this point. Let's get these upgraded. Wait, th there was a new week. I can't probably buy another here now, just want to see. Alright, so two level one heroes. I might have to buy a new one soon, because now this one is designated to check out the surrounding area. Okay, let's go ahead and scout a bit. And I guess if I learned anything from playing this mod so far... It's that uh, the other heroes don't seem to care that much about little heroes, so maybe I should have thought of that. Maybe he'll be fine scouting. I mean, unless you run right into them, they don't really go out of their way, it seems. So I'm just gonna scout... ...this way. And what's this then? Can't I can't see what that is yet. I have to get closer. Well, looks like blue is. A, I think blue's castle is. Okay, that's sulfur. Well, in here somewhere it looks like. Very interesting. I like the way the map is laid out. It feels sort of different. Now then. I guess I will move back so I can upgrade my troops. I'm gonna actually upgrade a few troops. So let's take a look. Not sure how useful this is. The upgraded version. So, um, yeah. Let's get the maze upgraded. Fairly cheap. And buy a dragon. I know I'm gonna want all the dragons and they're already upgraded. Well then, they do care. Was he just... Oh my goodness, level 22. I think I still don't know how to play this mod. Uh, wow. Um, I do not want him to come see me at my castle, I think. Okay. 
Let's see what he's got. Ten dragons. Great. Ouch. Not sure. They're not upgraded yet, though. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to want to kill something here. Looks like I can do 100 damage to... If you're up against something that has good archers like this one, you definitely want to go and attack. Mm, how good is he at this stuff? Doesn't look like he's very good at Ballista. So I'm gonna take out the archers. So if I was him, I'd hate that. Oh, complete resist. Oh my goodness. Wow, he's tough. Spell power 24. This is starting to look like my last let's play now. And the tree ends look different. Alright. Um, well at this point... I guess I can just... See, surrender is... Don't really care, I'm just gonna flee. Wow. He's not coming my way, but... Um, that would just be death for me if I ran into him. So definitely glad I scouted first. Now if I if I leave my castle, am I gonna get lucky and no one comes to take it real quickly? Yeah, I'm <laughs> wondering if I should leave any troops. Okay, let's take a look here. We want to get the dragon. I don't have a lot of troops compared to the other heroes, it seems. Uh, just gonna upgrade for now, and I have no money. Can I upgrade anything? No. Okay, well, let's see what else is there I can fight. There should be something still I can fight here. I think what you want to do is make your main hero the governor right away. It seems like it. And then um, as long as he stays around this area maybe. He'll be able to get experience all the time and uh, other bonuses. So if I'm gonna win this one, I think I'm gonna have to be extremely lucky at this point. Is that enough?